sounds like a leak. The opening of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by Quench for Knowledge. Yay! Join Rob Spiewak, Mark Ronick, and their lovely assistant, Diana Ash. Mm. You. Thursday, November 29th at Quench in Rockville, Maryland, for America's favorite trivia game, Quench for Knowledge. It's fun and it's free. And enjoy the signature cocktails and cuisine that make Quench your best destination anytime. <laughs> Bring your friends. I am. I'm bringing a friend. Are Who you are you bringing? I should say, whom are you bringing? My best friend. Hey! <laughs> Is he really going to be there? Yeah, he sent wow. me a text today. That's he happens to be off that night. Uh. <laughs> because why be in the business when you own a bar? Thursday's not busy. No, it's uh, it's one of the slow during, nights. During the holidays. Why not go to your bar? Go to someone else's bar. Exactly. That's right. On your night off. So uh, I'll have a wingman. Uh, the fun say, starts... Are at... these homemade bitters? He literally is. <laughs> these are tasty. <laughs> the fun starts at 8.30 p.m. Thursday, November 29th at Quench, 9712 Treville Gateway Drive in Rockville. For more information, visit quenchnation.com. Now, to begin the show, I normally do a funny little voice or we have a funny little discussion. Yeah. Today, something that just happened. I would like to speak about the tech technology of Apple. Yes. Oh. The technology of Apple, which hey. everybody is always marvels at. Hey, Apple. It's, it's now, I w- I'm here to hey. posit to uh, to my distinguished friend. Rob did something very nice. He put together a Christmas list for me. Mm-hmm. And then we were it's trying to... All the to, gifts I want. We songs. were trying ah. to load ah. the Christmas list of music onto my computer. Right. And it, it turned out to be somewhat of a, a CF. If Mark, like, didn't know and Rob didn't know their way around these things backwards and forwards, you would be... I would be done. Yeah. I would be toast. Mm-hmm. And we're still... Still not well, what sure. you would do is you would have to go and, and pay for it legally. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's not the music I'm talking about. <laughs> this is I'm, just a list. I'm this talking is just about a list. I'm talking about the technology of, of doing the, this. The process is extremely. If you're not like in the know, there's a and method. I'm looking, and I'm, you know I'm, what? There's now, something on. that I do a lot. So I, if you're I'm, in the know, it's not that bad. I'm going to accept my computer illiter- illiteracy. Although I truly Mike, am. you did a great copy and paste. You knew how to highlight all. I do, but I mean the fact is, when you get deep into certain things like the cloud, Ooh. which is inherently by the in way, my that's home, BS. It, the, the cloud is inherently evil. Yeah. It's crap. It doesn't work. It's not cl- it's not clear. It's not easy and to understand. And kill even Sarah Connor. If, even if it did work, yes. it's not big enough to back Sign everything it. up. It just backs up some things. Yeah. So the cloud is fickle, is it not? The cloud is like a woman. And the, I don't like the cloud. I, didn't I like don't the care cloud. for the cloud. I didn't like the cloud when I started hearing cloud commercials right. on local radio. Get used that to station. The cloud. You yeah. like McCloud? I like McCloud. Yes, Oscar. I mean, really. You, what you lack in, uh, I guess. Uh, Here we go. No. Here we go. What is it? He overall, is the picker. Your overall knowledge of the software, because that's really a software problem. Oscar, look at the scab. You make up in spades are with you the hardware. Leave, are you going to leave it alone, or are you going to you going to pick it? I have a question. Because I don't know if the audience knows. <laughs> Do you I have remember a when you this spiked your computer like a football twice last week, and you had to get a new screen? Do you this remember is, that? These are lies. That had, I didn't spike no, my... No, I didn't throw lies. it. None of this can happened. Can I ask a question? I'm not even going to pay attention to him. <laughs> yeah, so hey, can I ask a question? to my world. Mark, Mark Ryan. <laughs> yes, sir. Question for you. Mm-hmm. The cloud icon, the lovely little fluffy cloud icon yes. that now has a bar through it. What does that mean? Well, that's because we were when we were testing, we turned off the backup to the cloud. Ah. So it's probably letting you know that it is not in yeah, service right on. now. Yeah. Oh, I don't care for Disconnected the cloud. from the cloud. That's right. Hold on. Hey, so you. Had and we had backed up to your computer. Get okay. off of my cloud. So the big problem was putting new music on your computer? Hold on. No, shut up. Hold on just a second. <laughs> don't try to help. I want to just see if this is... Uh, and one for one thing, you didn't help matters by hurrying us along. One day that you wanted to start well, before I us. Let me, let me just see if I got stick. it. If it's yeah, in that, there. that was the big... No, no, shtick is funny. I'm not in a hurry. It worked. See, it did it work. Did. Hey, really you know what's worked. really great? So that's the only the reason I got The fidelity of laptop speakers through his microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's quality where, And incidentally, where are the speakers on an Apple? They're at the top bar right in front of your screen. Bar. The top bar up here? No, bottom. bottom. Like in between your screen and your keyboard. Oh, so by top mm-hmm. you meant bottom. Yeah. Top, that's, top, a, top key, of keyboard. that's a computer thing right there. It's at the top bar on your screen. Yeah. No, that's the bottom. Don't that's mix the up top and bottom, especially at a gay bar. You know what? You got me. He meant top of the keyboard. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing? This right, sounds so? great if you're listening on an AM radio. All right, so it seems to be there. 
Good. So I think we're all set. Good. But well, so that bar, because uh, I like to back up stuff on the cloud. How yeah. do I do? Do I go back into the cloud? Yeah, we'll now? go back no, and do that. Don't the, do the cloud. The well, main thing Rob, I want. You just don't like anything new or, or what? What are you sighing for? For someone there? who hates something new, I if sure I got your music. To this, didn't I, I would have been like, are you, I mean, this is not even entertaining. This, uh, yeah, but I think excuse a lot of me, Leah fucking Remini. <laughs> Go to, go to your car. Wow. That is the prime directive. Yeah. You just violated the prime directive. You know what? I turn his microphone off. Yeah, you, turn yes, his microphone yes, off. Yes, sir. You know, I'm sorry. It's the just, last person. That, do that. not do that after two nights of the Big O and Duke show. <laughs> I listen to that show. Yeah, don't yeah. don't lecture me on entertainment. No, I think uh, let's start the show. I, I think it's Thank fine. You. <laughs> you can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned. Standing Entertainment Program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. I'm in the mood for love. Simply because you're near me. ba da 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 boom boom You get a load of this guy? He'd be chasing them dolls till his <laughs> rots off. Oh, oh, I'm too old for that kind of thing. Ah, uh, age isn't everything. No, no. Anyway, it's all up here. Oh, no. sure, sure. Not all up there, pal. Some of it's down here. Ooh, which, by the way, is hard as a rock. You too? You got a bone or two? Blue steel. Cat couldn't scratch it. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> We're in the mood for love. Simply because we've got one. <laughs> It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara. Buzz Burbank. Rob Speedway. Oscar Santana. And now, from his couch, here's Mike. Live from the Cappy Fiber Studios, this, ladies and gentlemen, is America's most beloved podcast. We are downloaded more than 60 million times and heard in 150 countries worldwide. It is Wednesday, November 28th, 2012, and our show today is brought to you by The Man Grave. Oh, I love it. It's terrific. Anyway, uh, what I was going to say, no, I'm not going to bite my nose off despite my ass. But the man grade is not really entertaining. It's not. No. Jesus it helps you Christ, cook. You dick. Anyway. Um, I don't, I'd like to explain myself. Well, I'll give you, you a moment. I'll give you a, a moment. But first. Uh, brought to you by the man great. Men's Health calls it one of 2012's best grilling accessories. We call it one of the year's best holiday gifts. The man great, 100% made in America cast iron. So you get real steakhouse grill marks and seal in the juices for that great steakhouse flavor. Mm -hmm. I, I want to do it like Sam Elliott. Oh, okay. You need to so, grow your mustache out. Let me try it this way. All right. So... You get real steakhouse grill marks and seal on the juices for that great steakhouse flavor. It's a hell of a send-off for the old man. You're absolutely right. It's completely inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> the man grade is just nineteen ninety. I'm going to do it like this from now on. Come Good. On. The man grade is just nineteen ninety nine when you order through the banner ad at MichaelMarishow.com. But wait, there's more. What? Huh? Here's a queen to tell you all about the grill brush. You know, Mike, I'm so glad you brought. I'm sorry, <laughs> Sam. I'm so glad you brought up that grill brush because you Hello, know what it's Rob, great for. Old queen. If you do a podcast as we do, there uh, are yes. days when you know someone turns to you and says, "Hey, this is not even entertaining." But what you can do is you can use the brush to remove the non-entertaining part and yes. get down to the funny. <laughs> That's it, it right. It scrapes it right <laughs> off, and it's got the TMOS logo right on it. It's a hell of a grill brush. Give the grilling great. That's changing the way America grills. Give. The man great. Now, before you begin, yes. I'm going to warn you yes. that, it, you know, sometimes it is just best to cut your losses. No, I don't, I don't we think worked, anything wrong. We, we worked with Leah Remini one yes. time. Yes. And one Leah time. came on, and I remember Don, I was and I remember show. me. Mm -hmm. And I remember when she was sitting there in the heat of battle, mm -hmm. and she said, this just isn't funny, uh -huh. and it was we we identified it as the prime directive at the time uh -huh. because it cuts to uh, it, you know, the the absolute essence of my being. Right, and, and you're and, taking and so, it the wrong way. I don't like that song. You don't like what song? That song you were playing, that Christmas song. <laughs> okay, I'll, that's fine. All right, then I I'm sorry I played it. That wasn't entertaining. No, I don't. I I, I would rather <laughs> have a better, better Christmas now. song. You'd like to hear? All right. If yeah, like that's what better. I did. I bring I you like. any? Uh, did I bring you any famous Christmas songs by any blind troubadours, Mike? Because there's one that I know that Oscar would love. <laughs> All right, like Grandma on. got run over by a reindeer. Now that's a pile Something of Something I'd suck. like to hear. Now, that's now, a pile now of talk amongst yourselves list. because <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, 
Try it. Hold on. I don't know that I've updated uh, my iPad with holiday favorites yet, but I'm, there's one that I'm looking for that I think Oscar would enjoy. Because don't put Feliz Navidad. Why? Okay, then, then, see, I was going to find that. There is the fun. Yes. Yeah. I was going to find that for you. <laughs> okay. You know, I wouldn't find that entertaining either. No, you don't like that at all? No, oh. I don't like that song. Only Grandma got run over by. Here's a all I have, Mike, by Jose. I don't have any holiday yeah. Jose. <laughs> I love this song. Yeah. I do too. I truly love this song. This, this is to me song. is is not only a beautifully written song, but this is one my this is my favorite version of it. But the and thing it's been is, recorded by a lot of different people. Yes. Really, Jose Feliciano should not be lighting any fires at all, just <laughs> for the sake of safety. You know, there, I have a story about Jose Feliciano, and this okay. happened on the Mike Douglas show <laughs> years you ago. It would be untrue. Oh, I love this song. I do too. This is a great I could, song. I could drive along the highway and listen to this. Yeah. Jose Feliciano. By the was, way, Jose should not be driving along the highway either. <laughs> he was on, he was on the Mike Douglas show, and I'm sure it was Jose Feliciano, and they were doing a one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview, and Mike Douglas asked. Jose Feliciano, he said, do you watch much television? Oh, <laughs> And I no. swear to God, he asked and the we question should like... Say, we should yeah. tell people he's blind. The man you, is, you, if you don't know Jose Felicio, Felicianos is blind, then well, you know, screw you. I bet he didn't. So, I did. Did you? Yeah, my mom loves the Jose Mike Feliciano. Douglas asked him the question. Right. I remember this as a kid watching this on TV, and I remember how he reacted to it. This is Mike Douglas saying this. He said, so, do you uh, watch much television? Oh, <laughs> and, and, and he, he, he knew it immediately. He went, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, you know how some blind guys look blind, some don't? He looks blind. But Jose Feliciano did not miss a beat and right. said, yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. He sits in front of the television. He listens to the audio of it. That's the way he does it. A lot of people that are blind do that. Watch TV What's that wrong way? with this show? <laughs> He's saying, actually, <laughs> this is your fault. Why? This is all because your fault. Because I was fault. misunderstood? No, you, you just, you know. Entertaining. <laughs> well, I didn't like that song you were playing before. I don't want to go to Todd's party now. <laughs> it's going to be Filled with people like Oscar. Carl and I are already paranoid about it. All these young hipsters. Oh. And fat Mike, 53 year old Mike comes along. I think in. you should go, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody with 13 inch waist. Give my regrets. Perfect hair and everybody's smelling good. I'll need you, I'll, Screw I'll need you there to give my regrets. <laughs> it's Vero Mike. It's Vero Mike, yeah. So they're all going to be impressed with me because I fathered a child. Yeah, what you should do, Mike, come in. No, they're going to be mocking me. Look at that. Can you believe that? What you should yeah, do, Mike, is that. you should prove your virility by coming in with a huge rager. <laughs> <laughs> With my pants cut out. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at this, young people. When I when I love. had my stitches put in, they actually had like a small, almost like a shawl that they put my thumb through, and it covers the rest of my hand. So it's just like a cloth with a hole in it. How is That's your thumb you today? Need. It's really hurting Driving? a lot still, Driving? but but you know what? The knitting is coming together. I can see that it's healing. Oh, now I, I am still low no, I can't knit at all. I am still Logi after uh, yesterday's show, and uh, what happened to me at the end? Uh, you guys I didn't even realize it. it. You, no, you covered it well. well slow down. Uh, you 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 guys have uh, experienced this on a couple of occasions, and it happens to me once in a blue moon. It is the scariest goddamn thing in the free world. I'm talking about migraines, uh, and not migraines when you get the little visual disturbance. Migraines, we had a uh, we had a great show yesterday, and then we had a very, very uh, intense, uh, not negative, but a very intense business meeting right. where we were going over a bunch of different very stuff. Productive. And we got done with that, and because of the holiday season, I have been uh, mainlining a lot of chocolate, which is known oh. as a trigger mm -hmm. in uh, in you know in in the uh, migraine world. And so we got done with the show, and we got done with the business meeting, and I walked out into the kitchen, and Rob was saying something to me. And the line I was going to say was, I was overcome with the outpouring of love. Right. Or the, or I was overcome with the outpouring of emotion from our listening audience. Right. I was trying to say that. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, as I was going to try to say that mm -hmm. to Rob, I realized the words weren't coming between the brain and the mouth. That's and it is the, it's I called know, aphasia. I do know one thing you were able to get out was, <laughs> Rob, will see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew it was time oh, to no. excuse myself from the kitchen, I but went, I didn't know. Went out on the deck, and I was just sitting there. I thought you were still mad at me about the lights. It, what the best way to describe <laughs> <laughs> the best way to describe this is uh, it's just a feeling of being out of it. And but the thing, Buzz, that, but hold on, but Buzz can speak to this uh, when you get to be our age. Yeah, one of the one, this is a brand new fear that you have because you hear friends uh -huh. and you begin to hear acquaintances that have yes. early onset of stuff that and even though you know, know 50 who, is not yeah. considered to be old anymore in our no. society and I know that that's the reality of it but now with the baby and with everything else so when you uh, when you have a symptoms of a migraine headache that actually make you feel kind of logy 
It's really it freaks there, you, and I was more, more frustrated. Yeah. It's very frustrating because you it's you share that frustration of people who want to speak but cannot. Yeah, That's what you described yeah. to me. That is the most scary about it. Is Horrible. That you're totally aware that you're not able to communicate. Right? You know, and the first I think time, the frustration redoubles it, doesn't it? The first time scary. it happened to yeah. me was in my early. 20s. Mm-hmm. And I was in a recording studio that I built in my house with a guy named uh, Larry Wax, guy that now uh, works <laughs> at a morning show down in Atlanta. I think I think Larry's still doing yeah, that. Larry, Wax. I know it's Larry so Wax down there. Larry was, uh, you know, the show, a guy. He's still I, doing the show called The Wax Museum? <laughs> he was he's a very funny guy. Wax or Wax. He, Larry used to do a thing. <laughs> Larry, Larry was uh, from, I think, uh, either... I think Pikesville, Baltimore, Jewish suburb of Baltimore, uh, and did Mark. Do, did Jewish material the likes of which nobody. He, <laughs> he used to do a bit about the Southern sheriff that pulls him over <laughs> and is about to let him go, uh-huh. but he's standing by the window and uh, he looks at the driver's license and he's like, "Well, I, I listen to your show all the time, and uh, yeah, you can go on your way. I just uh, I, I was noticing this driver's license. Uh, you know, I, I, look, I don't want to make a big deal about <laughs> nothing, but I just uh, I happened to see the last name and the way it was spelled and. Uh, you know, I just look. I'm not trying to make trouble for you. I want. To, I'd love to send you on your way. I re- you're a nice fella, and you damn you make my wife and I laugh all the time. But seriously, if you could just answer one question, you wouldn't be one of those Jewish fellas, would you? <laughs> oh, no. And he did. Uh, he did that shtick just for me. And I, I've always remembered Larry for doing that. And he, and Ross Clavins was another buddy of mine who was hysterically uh, funny as well. But uh, you know, the the thing, Larry was in my basement, and uh, I had this uh, company called Chesapeake Recordings, and I did commercials at the time for JKJ, and I did commercials for Free State Raceway, right. Laurel Racetrack. The, the that was a great guy to work for. Is that when you were I, working with? The- I didn't like the sound of it. <laughs> I didn't like the sound of the spot. He made me. He was the only guy that I couldn't play a spec over the phone. Mm. I would have to do the spec. I would have to drive to the race. Oh, because he wanted to hear like. And I would have to play it in his office. Full fidelity. Uh, Yeah, it was scary. Did you? Is that when you were working with the uh, the Amish? Uh, yeah, probably right, right, right okay, around that yeah, same time. Yeah. And I'm in my basement, and I got done with a recording session, and suddenly I'm saying things like, "May I, may I, mumbo dog face to the banana patch," and it really, yeah. totally freaked me out. And Did Wax think you were doing shtick? Uh, I think Larry left shortly thereafter. I said, "Hey, sure. I, I gotta go. I'm, I'm having trouble talking." And, uh, and he left you. And he, he, well, I didn't know what was going on. But still, that's when... If the you know that time. I can walk around. I can even communicate, basically, but I'm not good at large stringing sentences and stringing words but together. still, if this is the first time and you don't realize what's causing it, and his his plan is to just get the hell out of there... I think it manifested... See you later. I think it manifested <laughs> itself uh, after Larry left. I okay. don't think it was Larry's right. fault. Okay. And so, well, I never said it was his fault. But that's how long ago this was, and that's the first time it happened. It happened to me, I remember. I could remember the times. I can remember being on the old uh, Seven River Bridge having a conversation with my uh, wife and she was saying that my old college roommate had just called who I hadn't heard from in years. Right. And so I got home and I was still experiencing this and I had to call him and say, I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you, but I can't really talk right now. It was I remember these things wow, like they wow. were yesterday yeah, because, because they it's make so such scary. an impression. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely. very good. So How that, long that, that it happened last? yesterday. Uh it usually lasts about ten, fifteen minutes. Jeez. And now, uh, you, know, you go to bed, you go into a dark room and then I was uh, out mm-hmm. of commission all day. Some people have migraine headaches where they are out of commission for the better part of it. With nausea and wow. vomiting. Yeah, with nausea, yeah, sensitivity right. to light. It takes me right. several hours. Yeah, it's and you get them too, right? I get them too. And it's funny that you said earlier, I, I also, the first time I got it was when I was 20 or mm. in my 20, mm-hmm. early 20s. And it was while I was driving. And I told you yesterday, when I my effect isn't always aphasia. It's it's my, my vision. It's Katoma. And I can't see. My peripheral vision, right. vision is <laughs> just completely gone. And so That's I'm what driving I get most of the time. That's the what time, I get most right. of the time, right. the time where you get uh, the oh, best wow. way it's to like describe it, it would be. Uh, it's similar, yeah. It's kind of like when you uh, get a flash bulb in the eye. Yes. Mm-hmm. And only, oh. only it goes across your field of vision. That's right. And you just have a chunk of it that's not there. It's, so, you know, it's blood vessel stuff. Yeah, why right. yesterday then did you go? out on the deck because I would think you'd want to go somewhere dark, dark and lay down. Time. Wanted to get to air and uh-huh. I was letting Frankie out okay. and just wanted to get yeah. some air and then uh, Mark saw me after that and you'll notice because I become uh, slightly green mm-hmm. and I'm like, hey, good night everybody. We'll see you next right. time. So it just wow. sucks. Yeah. It really does. And you know what? It, I, I think you begin to understand the triggers and what causes it, mm-hmm. but it's a very, headache is and has been since I've been treated for it a very inexact science. Yes, and people is, don't, uh, yeah. you know, they, they have a lot of uh, products that are out there now for it that I don't necessarily have you tried, buy. Have I still you tried say Excedrin the, is the, the Excedrin migraine. Have you uh, tried it? Excedrin migraine 
is basically Excedrin. Right. Uh, right. That, but more caffeine, is. right? I don't think so. I think I, I think I actually researched this one time. Excedrin migraine is Excedrin. I, oh, really? I swear to God. Well, I then think, I'm going to buy well, it because Excedrin is still not on the shelf. I would wow. I would urge. I, I've done this. I know I've done this experiment before. You take uh, Excedrin migraine and you take regular Excedrin and you and maybe regular extra strength Excedrin uh-huh. and you put them side by side. It's one of the regular products and you look and you try to see if there are any milligrams that are different. And oh, wow. I don't know. I could it's be totally packaging. wrong. Yeah, the basic if formula. there's one thing, it might be a little more caffeine. That's a, okay. that's all yeah. that it would be. Yeah. So wow. uh, the best thing that's ever worked for me with my migraines is I take either a Tylenol or an aspirin, and I mainline a Diet Coke. Yeah, which is that's, essentially that's making your own Excedrin. Making your own Excedrin, and yeah. that's uh, that's what it is. Now, oh, so you have Excedrin yeah, migraine? I have the migraine. Yeah. Let me, can I see compare. it? All right, read the ingredients. Is that expensive? I think the big small bottle. Yeah, well, it, well, yeah, it's, uh, sure basically, it's not cheap, Mark but... doesn't overspend. He just buys what he needs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have this? Maybe just two. I might hold on to this. This, I think, I think it might have a new formula to it. So I might be wrong about that. Acetaminophen, aspirin, and uh, caffeine. caffeine. Those, that's the ingredient in every Excedrin product. And I think right? it's ah. also the same thing in Anison, isn't it? Right. Uh, Anison was just caffeine and aspirin. Oh, okay. And One time when I took it though, I didn't find it uh, very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let that go. Anyway, I, I mean, know it was it's to- hard. It was totally misunderstood. Did you know? Did you know when you said it that you'd hit a button? Did you know immediately? Well, that you'd I hit clearly a it was. I knew that I, I was misunderstood. A tenant of show business. <laughs> excuse me. Is, is, oh, not, oh, to, wow. is not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but <What>? but, but <laughs> a, t- a tenant of Say show business is no matter what you're doing, it's all great. You know. Yeah. Uh, no, but yeah. I did, well, uh, for me that song wasn't entertaining. That's what I'm saying. You, you right. keep that to yourself. Can we get back on track with the show? And and this is my personal. That's my personal. Yeah. Like what I like. To quote know? Gary Gary Bettman, Mike, this is not productive. <laughs> this yeah. is not productive. Let's not, move on. It's not working. I didn't mean it as I the show. I didn't say that. Here's what's uh, productive. <laughs> Listen, Sorry. everybody's doing it. The Today Show is doing it. Uh-huh. Offices are doing it. I think it's time that we do it. What's so that? we don't have any. Uh, has anybody purchased any Powerball tickets? Not yet. yet? No. Yes. no one? No. You have? Yes. Would you like to put them in the pool? Absolutely. Let, shall we do a pool? Sure. Yeah, we can. All right. Sure. Uh, is twenty dollars? Is twenty dollars? Forty dollars. Forty dollars each. Always more with Oscar. Do you yeah. want to bought forty dollars? How about we? Car. How about we all put a twenty dollar limit on it? But Oscar spends more because he's an ass. <laughs> would you <laughs> kick fine. in? Would you kick in your forty dollars worth of tickets? <laughs> or if, or twenty of? Or just half of it? Just kick yeah. in the twenty. No, then, get, then if we, you know what? I don't care. Yes. Whatever. Whatever you because like. Because if, if we did a pool and his twenty dollar mm-hmm. half right. for himself won, we would have to kill him. We kill. I'll put in, look, you guys can put in $20. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will put in $40. Mm-hmm. And we will put, so that'll be a total of, you'll put in your $40. Yes. I'll put in forty dollars. That's how good. many times? I'll do that too. You'll do forty dollars. Yeah. yeah. Let's, now let's go. Let's go to our two. The step up twins. Let's I'll do go. forty-two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you win. No, Rob and Face. No, yes. I'm good. For, I'm good for forty, but I have no cash on me today. I'll have it tomorrow. I just need someone well, to front. I don't carry right. cash. Why okay. don't you just go to the store and and get them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll go, but he has to still kick in for his forty dollars. Sure, right. right, yeah, right. All right, so I don't know if I've got. Let me see if I've got forty. Bucks. I've got they have cash. them at the shop, right? Why yeah. don't oh, I just I buy them? Huh? I'll Hold buy on, them. Wait, wait, I gotta go out to the kitchen. I oh, have boy. a feeling that We're the. Do I do right have now. a feeling mm-hmm. that the lottery yes, ticket should cash. be purchased in the District of Columbia because I just feel the District of Columbia is where the winning ticket will. Oh, be I was gonna buy them at the Shell in Virginia next to my work. This is a huge. <laughs> this is a huge waste. Nobody here is going to win anything. No, it's a it's a hundred seventy five. Five uh, million to one. Yeah, that's but the odds. You're, you're no. more likely to be killed by a swarm of killer bees. Still keep hoping. Now, what about the guy that says to God, he says every day, praise God, please let me win the lottery. Mm-hmm. Please let me win the lottery, and nothing happens. Mm-hmm. And after years, he finally goes to the hilltop and he screams. He says, "Why have you forsaken me? Why won't you let me win the lottery?" And yes. God says, right, "Please meet me halfway. <laughs> Buy a ticket." <laughs> okay. Rob, I'm floating you the forty bucks. Thank you, right, Mike. Yeah, Bless yeah. your heart. I will have right, your money so tomorrow. 40, and you'll bring your tickets in. They're already here. They're here? Yeah. Uh, God damn this nice thing. Got 40 bucks for a mic stand. Are the You're tickets out for 40? If you want, I could go right now during right, the go. show and go Are you in for 40? I, yeah. yeah, I guess I am. You have to. It, it, I, I guess I, you, I, you guess I do. Are you, you going to love it when you win, <laughs> This Buzz? is a huge waste of money. I know it is. I and know Mike, it is. thank you. But just imagine. Think about yeah. that Just imagine how you would feel. <laughs> imagine how you would feel. I would feel great, but... I mean, you you know... But, <laughs> that was but so begrudging. Go, but it isn't going to happen. But it ain't going to happen. <laughs> was that the money you had set aside for Marsha's kids? All right, so you owe me 40 tomorrow. Yes, and I'll have it for you tomorrow. Go now? Yeah, go now. Go now. Oh, and get nice. our, and, and where are your tickets? In the car. I'll give them to you. All right, Brent, go get, get, get them. I, I want them all right now. on that table. Right. Yeah.
<laughs> we should put them in a... Do you have a lucky spot? <laughs> <laughs> he do does. You, he I'm does. sorry. I, do you have a lucky spot? He does. I'm excited. I, I was watching do you the think Today we Show. Have an, I think we're halfway to winning right now. I agree. I think... <laughs> how can we miss? The fact is that, uh, you know... Oh, it, my brother. They, they had an analogy today about, about the, the... pennies? Uh, the pennies killed me. I loved that analogy. Buzz, on the Today Show this mm-hmm. morning, they did an analogy of right. pennies... You take 175 million pennies uh-huh. and you, you line connect, them up. It doesn't it connect the east and the west. Coast I don't of think the country? so. No, I nearly. Think, I think you could just line them up and you'd have to stop at one of the 175 <laughs> pennies and pick one up. Right. And as you're driving cross country, stop your car, pick up a penny, and if it has an X on it, you win. Now, but, are, are we, I also think though that with the sales, though, I think the odds are greater than one in 175 million. Yeah, well, I, the more no, but it's based on the numbers, right? And also, the you know that with all all the media coverage they got this morning, and yeah. uh, suckers like us... It might be $600 million. The jackpot will go crazy fast. Right, right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. There. Mike, put them in a lucky spot. What's your lucky spot? Now, how will it... You're not going to let the machine pick the numbers, are you? Yeah. Oh, no. That's the, you, you can't win that way. Yes, you can. Not that you could win any other way. Well, but Mark's expert, going to get them. Expert tips include never let the machine pick the numbers. You must always pick the numbers yourself. Yeah, that's People true. who win have chosen their own numbers. That's, but Go get Mark. You, is, he's already... Well, every, he's leaving. I'll we'll text, text him. him. But every... Okay. But I mean, but how many numbers is, does he... Wait, wait. How many... He's got to pick... Uh, six for each ticket, I guess, right? Right? Six for each ticket. Every, I mean, I think that that no. guy was just trying dollar, to sell books. No, it's a dollar no. per number, no. so we're going to... It's $2 a ticket. It's $2 a ticket? Yes. You How sure? many numbers are on there? I paid 40 bucks for that. So you oh. should have 20 chances. Yeah, and Mark's good with numbers, so he'll be fine. But the <laughs> thing is, is I think that guy that Nothing? said that was trying to sell books. Yeah, it's 20, you get 20 numbers. Yeah. Every, the thing is, is that every number selection is its independent, random thing. Yeah, but... And the, if you randomly select the numbers, I think that t- tip is for people that play the lottery each and every All the week. time. Again, I, I read a list of tips this morning. Number one, don't let the machine he, he, pick the numbers. But the thing let is, he's got to pick, he's gotta pick a, a total of... Well, 40 times 5, 200, yeah. so 100. He, you have to pick 600 numbers. He's great He's great with numbers. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't... We don't have him back in time for the contest. How does he have the time to do he that? He won't be back in time for Hanukkah. <laughs> That's right. No, I think... I really the staunchly random. believe... Staunchly believe that letting the machine pick it is the same even as picking if you, your own numbers. Even if you did one card with just his pick of numbers, then right. that'd be better. For example, Mike, you know? you know, you would think that when you're playing roulette, if you keep playing the same number, it's got to come up. But it's not because every spin is an independent event. And yeah, so and the you, odds are the same but every each, time. Each winning number would be one, two, three, four, five, a total of six numbers. Right. right. So it's sixty per per, <laughs> per ten dollar bet. No. Sixty per twenty dollar bet. Right. Sixty numbers per twenty dollar bet. But they're also you'd have to fill out. 60. That's a lot of numbers to yeah, pick. Yeah, he was. I think you know. Let the yeah, machine. I, I let him off the hook. We yeah. have technology that we should use to no. our advantage. Right. And besides, Hold after on. we win the lottery, Hold we'll on. have lots of time to pick yeah. numbers. We should do this. What? Wait, is there, you don't go over fifty, right? Oh, you do go over fifty. Fifty what? How many numbers are there in the uh, you know in the in each in each? Uh, Isn't it? Six, I think it's five in the Powerball, correct? I thought or it was six, six in the Powerball. Six and the Powerball. They go up to seven total. Right, Buzz, you're fifty-seven, right? Uh, right. Uh, fifty-nine now. Fifty-nine. Age, now. You're yes, fifty. 59. All right. So fifty-nine is on here. So we have to go fifty-nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your age. I'm 34. 34. 41. Uh-huh. 53. Right. Uh-huh. And how Mark old? Mark is 16. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Text him and say he one of the numbers has to be our ages. Okay. Right. And then one, two, three. Four, five, and then yeah. what? The and then Carl is what? Huh? And Carl no, is not you, no. It doesn't oh, work she's that a way. No, she's not <laughs> a chance. That's the perfect number. We're five. We have to at least play all of our ages. But then, isn't there isn't there a Powerball number? You, yeah, you, and then the, and then it'll be the total number of us. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so five. it'd be five. Powerball number five. So it, yeah, okay. so give him. Uh, let me let what, me get the ages again. I've got fifty nine. Fifty nine. Uh huh. Fifty three. Uh huh. Yeah. No, they should. I want to go the, in that order. It's fifty nine. Thirty four. Thirty four. Okay, Forty one. Change it. Wait, wait, wait. They got to change the order. Thirty four. You know what we're doing? We're picking our 41. numbers. We can't. I miss. love it. Yeah. yeah it's be as awesome. long as Mike remembers to put the tickets in the lucky spot. Wait yeah. a minute, though. Hold on. Uh oh. Because I noticed that the first row of numbers is always the lower numbers. Well, well because that was an auto pick. Yeah, if it's auto pick, it's going to do it numerically. Yeah, so what happens when you let the machine do it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, Buzz is getting ready to fly to Mar- Monte Carlo. So yeah. it's got to be it's got to be fifty nine, thirty four, 
41. 41, 53, Mark's age, and then our total number. Yeah, I think Mark oh, is 37. Oh, there you go. I think Mark is 37. Wouldn't that be something? That would be amazing. How great is that? You know what? We'd, yeah. we'd have this audio played on every network. I thought about what And you, allow uh, me to say this, is that with the win, we will continue to do the podcast. I thought. I thought about Maybe. that. Maybe I actually might do that. I might. I thought I like about doing that. I was so like, much. I'd still do the podcast. I of course you would. I definitely do the oh, podcast. What? What but I tell mean? you, we would do. We would do the podcast now. We would do the podcast in uh, at the top of a building, a a mm-hmm. huge deal, and we would. It would be. It would be gorgeous. That's yeah. right. The yeah. first well, Monday of every champagne month. and getting special favors. And right. Yes, that's the, correct. The so, first oh, Monday God. of every That'll month, we messy. would we would head to our studio at the top of the Empire State Building. That's right. <laughs> No, I think I'd want to do it. Uh, I'd like want to do it in maybe Arlington somewhere. I think closer to Leesburg would be nice. <laughs> you but know, you know what? I'll that's buy. Where I'll you know buy what? That's, that's where I'll be buying my new home. Well, you know so. what? I'll buy a house close to where you put the studio. Okay, very good. Okay. You know, we got, we got a building in Leesburg that that's we put fine. a studio in. You know what? The second most popular thing to do if you win the lottery is what's that? To leave your spouse. Really? Isn't that amazing? That's impossible mm. for me. Well, no, just, I'm all in now. No, but just, uh, but just, I can. <laughs> there was a review of what I'd people do. I give her a do. big check, though. People usually right. buy an exotic it's car or a home, mm-hmm. uh, but the divorce rate is like through the roof. Of course it is. Uh, you that know, but sense. the thing is, I have kind of, you know, lived my life with a lot of money. Yes. And so I've been through that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it says a lot that, uh, I, you know, I think really you, you hear about people getting all screwed up by mm-hmm. it. You can understand because oh, I, sure. I've said time like and fame. time again, I've had the happiest year with the least money in my mm-hmm. life. Yeah. Yes. And that says something Let's right Let's try there. to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's still For example, fun. how happy are we all now that we just we now have $40 less? Less, yeah. yeah so we're very yeah. happy. But it's uh, I like the idea of pooling just to increase your odds a That's little bit. That's true. I wanted to do this. I just didn't want to bring it up again because last time we didn't do so well. No, know? last time I think we won like 5 or $8 or something. So we mathematicians, the ticket, yeah. Yeah. with yeah. all of us kicking in 40, how many uh, how many numbers are we going to have a chance? Okay, at? so that's 200 chances. That's 100 tickets. 100 tickets? Because so that's 40 200, times 5, right? So it's right, 200 yeah. chances. Two, no. It's two dollars. <laughs> two dollars a ticket. $200. So it's a hundred chances. A right, hundred right. chances. We are, we, so we have uh, so we even we're, we're one hundred out of one seventy five. We uh, well you know the, the odds are going <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, the odds are in my favor. What do you do with that money though? Well, what would it well, be? Can we figure it out it. what it would be? Well, for it's how like, much? It's three. Let's say roughly. Uh, with That's the, a half a billion dollars. It's right now. it's three hundred after taxes, and we take it after tax. Right? Lump sum. Lump sum. The lump sum. I got no time left. Bring it. Three hundred million. You know what's funny? Divided by five. You know what's really funny? I do believe the last time I used the calculator on my iPhone was the last time we did this because the number <laughs> in it is 375 million. So just do for S's and giggles, right. after taxes, uh, 350 million. 350 million. Uh-huh. Divided by five. Because we got to pay federal and state. Yeah. yeah, but that's it's after the federal. That's after federal Did taxes. Did you know Pennsylvania doesn't charge state taxes on lottery winners? And neither does New Hampshire, I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, Which is why Mike states. is building in Breezewood. <laughs> and, you know, I don't even need the calculator for this. Everyone gets $70 million. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think Mike should get, like, $70 million and 300 extra because we do the show at right. his house. I agree. So we're all going to kick in $60. And an iPad. And an iPad. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Jesus. So, now that would be, you know, $70 million. Think about it. You're giddy. Look at you. It's so much fun. <laughs> That's where the joy yeah. comes in. Let's say. You know, you could say, well, why don't they do more with the money to help everybody else? No, it's fun to have this fantasy. And let's say it's Mike, American. It's as American as There was a mess head buying lottery tickets. I hope she wins. Uh, <laughs> literally. Probably will. When I picked up mine, I was like, I wonder if this is going to be a big line. It was like uh, 11-ish at night. Right. So I stop in at the at the shell, and there's somebody there. <laughs> And look, if you've ever met a meth head, this is the person you want to meet. Because <laughs> they were happy. Look how depressed he is. <laughs> no, Buzz is depressed. I'm not depressed. He just no. lost 40 No, it's just, it's, yeah, I, I lost 40 bucks. But you yeah. are. You're down. No, well, no, it's just, it's silly. It's just a waste of money. Well, of course it's a how waste of money. I can money. have the fantasy without spending If anybody $40. should be playing this the lottery, it's you, Buzz. That's you true. cheated <laughs> death, you are. for God's sake. <laughs> now, let's say, let's say, the luckiest I hope man I bring, in the I, room. I hope I bring us luck. Oscar, this doesn't count for you, but for Mike and me, let me just say this. Do you think we have a chance of living 35 more years? No. Okay. No. Let's say I know I don't. with he does. great medical care, yes. we'll live 35 years. That no, means wait. I have You do. 50, uh, you'd be 80-something. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, if I, if I take care of If myself. we say 35 more years, that means that we have, even if we don't invest, if we just take the money and hide it under our mattress, a yearly income of $2 million without doing anything. Right. If we win. For the rest of our So lives. we're set. We're absolutely set. 
That's incredible. But I, that's why I want to take the lump sum. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I, I think everybody takes the yeah. lump sum. Yeah. And yeah. Besides, yeah. my kids Assuming, yeah. would get to go to a great in-state school. <laughs> 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 I would pay a off big spend. Uh, <laughs> I would pay off at least ten years in advance on my mortgage on the townhouse. I'd well, fix well, that well, hole in the wall. Serious All of these things become possible. Calm down. Serious question. He's wound yeah, up. But, today. Yeah, yeah. but listen to his dreams. I know. It's just to stay the same. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> sad. No, I'd, I'd make. Quo. I would make one change. What's that? Maybe cut the podcast by one. <laughs> a week? No, him. Oh, <laughs> one person. The non Serious, guy. serious <laughs> question. Yeah. $70 million windfall. Yeah. yeah. Serious question. Yeah. yeah. What would you do? First thing. I know. First thing. Let me go to you first. Seriously. I would. Here we go. I would stay in the area that I'm living, but I would get a nicer house, mm -hmm. and I would pay for it with a check. Okay. And I would say, this is going to be our home. All right. And I would let Carrie do exactly what she wants. She always has plans to how she wants to make our house better. Mm -hmm. Right. And I would say, do whatever you want. Make this your house. But actually, there is one priority before that. I would let Carrie quit her job. I would insist okay. that she does it because she hates working. Okay. Very good. Uh, what about you, Oscar? Uh, I would buy my uh, parents a house, like a, a nice house, wherever they would want. Okay. And, um I, you know, I thought about this. Cause I, I was like, I like to fantasize. Mm -hmm. the Everybody does. The That's lottery. the fun. That's the fun of the whole um, day. I, of I, like I said I would buy, I would give a lump sum of money to all my family members. Mm -hmm. Um, so I never want to be in a place where someone's got to ask you for things. You right. know, and I say, mm -hmm. hey, here you go. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's he, here's a uh, three or four million dollars. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Do what you wish. So they could buy a house. They could do whatever they want. Outside of that, I'd set up. Um, I buy. I, I thought about this. I'd buy a building. Where we could um, do our shows from. Oh, good. Well, yeah. I'm off the hook then. Yeah. Right. Cool. Well, Thanks for popping yeah. for that. Well, you did it for three years. I'll pay for the studio. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, but I, I'll I bring in. I'll bring in heavy orders. I want. That's what I said. I said. <laughs> I said. Would you? Would you? What I really want to do? Would you want to work still? I said. No. I. The joy of doing the show is so much fun. This show is is the most joy I've had. I, I like this show. I'm already doing the uh, type of work that I want to do for yeah. the rest. So of I told you, Carrie this morning. I said, when we win, you get to quit. And she said, but you'll keep doing the podcast and i said i think so and she said something cute she says you're right america needs you <laughs> <laughs> she was not sincere but she, it's it's nice to i would just take what we do now and just put it on the level we would like to see it at yeah be awesome. yeah get a uh, bigger distribution yeah. that's right buzz what about you again i, I think I, I would buy a nicer house a bigger house for myself and, and for marcia and uh, and maybe even the same house. Uh, I, I would buy. I, I would, Certainly I, in the same neighborhood. I would want to do the same for my folks and anybody in my immediate uh, circle of family and friends who who needed help or or needed to better themselves in some way. I'd do that. I'd give some to charity, and I think I might spend a lot of the rest of it on travel. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to good. travel. There are places I'd like to go. Yeah. Africa, for example. I like Buzz's charity angle. Would you be so inclined to set up a charity? I'd uh, finish, yeah. I'd finish uh, the orphanage finish. down in Haiti. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Boy, would I, I would, would I do stuff for kids. That would be the, the William. That would, would be love the. To see I would that call. Happen. I would call that the William O'Mara Center. Uh, down, down in but Haiti. Your name that's is a, Mike. Yeah, my father's name is William. Right, I'm kidding. So that's what I would do. I would do that. Uh, also the house. Uh, and I would pop for the extra money that I wasn't going to spend to have it baby-proofed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we do have to break. Yeah, oh, we, we do. We could go on. All we'll take a break. Come back with more fun and more thrills on the Mike O'Mara Show. Mark's still going to get those lottery tickets. We'll Are you right kidding? Back. We just gave Mark $100. We'll never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to MikeOmeraShow.com. Uh, this segment of the program is brought to you by our Amazon page. Nice. Uh, preliminary indications are you guys are doing a nice job for mm -hmm. us, and uh, we don't have all the details yet, so we're going to just count on you uh, delivering for the Mike O'Mara Show by using Amazon. How uh, This comes from Ann Edwards, and she writes to us, How appropriate that I'm using TMOS Amazon to not only Christmas shop, but to get my two kids their ba their birthday presents. I had B-Day. B-Day presents for later this you month. You don't like yeah. B-Day? No, right birthday. All right. Uh, birthday presents for later this month. And I just ordered a hard-cased ukulele case for my daughter. Another smart, ukulele player. Smart move. I'm sure Buzz approves that purchase, how sweet it is. Thanks for having that link on your page. Lots of love from Iowa. And uh, that's from Ann Edwards. She's awesome. We're Ann talking awesome. about our Amazon page where Cyber Mondays, uh, they, they really continue all week, the sale. Uh, it's Cyber Monday all week long. Mm -hmm. And Amazon has gift wrapping, uh, gift cards, and delivery right to your door. Plus, when you 
shop Amazon through MikeOmeraShow.com. You pay the same low prices and support your favorite show. Uh, bookmark us and use MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. You know that. Thank Cyber you. Monday deals. I got to get a uh, small TV for my mom up in Boston and trying to get the specs from my sister is like it. pulling teeth. Yeah. Like a watchman? About 11 inch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm But I'm waiting for my Cyber Monday deal. Yeah. That continues all week long that's on right. Amazon. There's, there's, really no, there's no urgency. You got the whole week to do it, so you Amen. don't think you've missed out on it. I, I, I bought it. my parents' TV on uh, Amazon, and it's amazing. You don't have to haul anything. All right. It shows, right. Up, right it shows up. I, uh, I almost hesitate on a day like this where the ball busting is at its absolute zenith <laughs> yes. to share my activity that I'm going to be participating in today. What are you well, doing oh, today? As soon uh, as the show a, is done? A new type of fitness that has been recommended to me uh, based on my knee. Uh, to from a number of people, and I will be uh, participating in that today. At the uh, conclusion of the show, I will be okay. Go ahead and guess. No, I wasn't going to guess. I, I, I'm going to be I, leaving I for the pool. Yes, I yes, I yes, it. yes. You're going to do a uh, uh, water aerobics. No, I'm not doing any aerobics. I'm uh, just going to I'm going to swim last. Synchronized swimming. Uh, that's gonna use, not synchronized swimming. Are you going to use the sake. paddle thing, the thing that looks like a tombstone? No, I don't have to do that. I know how to swim for Christ's <laughs> sake. What do you mean, like the it's, thing that they cha- they, it's they a train? paddle board? Yeah, this is not yeah. cocoon. They, 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 they don't they train little kids to swim. Well, Mike, everyone needs to start somewhere. I'm not taking swimming lessons. I know how to swim. Can you imagine the scenery at that aquatic center? It's going to be great. <laughs> not not at 1 o'clock. No. I don't think so. I picture old men's balls. I picture That's what I picture. A beautiful, and stinky. I see a beautiful, milky white man <laughs> but swimming laps. Are you going to the George Mason Aquatic Center? I'm not telling people where I'm going. No. That's what I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going to George Mason. He's, uh, as a matter of fact, I am. I'm going okay, to the George okay, Mason okay. Aquatic Center. Because I'm going to say you could go to Buzz's doctor's house. <laughs> no, I'm not doing no, that. The pool is closed. That's where Buzz <laughs> likes to swim. Have you ever tried it's running in water? Do you socialize with him in uh, the non-summer months? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Yeah, not, no, I mean, he doesn't do a lot of socializing, but he's when, busy when he during the winter. We, we are friends. I think it's more out. like you don't say yes during the non-summer months. No, no, that's not. Can't come over there, Doctor. He's more of a hermit than I am. Really? Yeah. Do you swim well? Um, you know what? I used to, okay. and uh, I haven't done it in a while. Last and I time always... I saw you in a pool, you skinned your head. Yeah, oh, that's, oh, that's right. right. Oh, that's not doing it right. Was that at uh, Carla's hammered. mom's birthday party? Yeah, it was. I think we all skinned something that night. <laughs> I skinned my liver. I was definitely... <laughs> Mike skinned his bank hurt. account. Yeah. So... <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Because with you, the evening continued. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All I remember out. is that the next Story day... Story of my life. Another Carla, depressing evening. Carla was walking around the pool the next day and saying, are these Rob's pants? And is this Rob's belt? And yeah. Are these Rob's gla- I apparently just was shedding clothes like everywhere. I can't yeah. go there with my buddy Pete anymore. No, he's a bad it's luck a, charm. Hey, the tickets are here. Yay! The winning number. Really I really folks. didn't think we'd ever see Mark again. And, oh, and hey, Mark actually got the, the ages. The ages. Cool. Nice. Cool. Thank you, Mark. Right. Now, where's the lucky spot for those tickets? Okay, so the ages are uh, Oscar's age, 34, mm-hmm. Mark's age, 39. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, Mark? Is that yeah. you? 39. Rob, 41. Mike, 53. Buzz, 59. Mm-hmm. And it's all five of us. This is the one That's I'm going to... That's cool. Uh, all right, here. here uh, you be... Uh, I'll just, special well, I think we can keep them right here. I think they're safe. Right. That'll be fine. Are they Nothing, safe right sure. that table, Nothing so. gets lost at Mike's workstation. Thanks a lot. I get that. Thank you very much. <laughs> but whatever you do, us. Mike, don't take them to the pool. <laughs> It'll still be there. <laughs> we don't want to get the tickets wet. Yeah, don't put them in your trunk. So, so the one... <laughs> Mike, soggy tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I won. <laughs> the one that it I looks will... like a tab. Is that a two? <laughs> God, these two. Sorry. It's like misbehaving. <laughs> I swear to God, you guys. But I will say this, Mike. You. Nothing you've said today has not been entertaining. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. 34, 39, 41, 53, 59, and 5. Now a lot of people are going to play that number. Right? Nobody mm. will. Don't I, play it. Don't play it. That's our number. If, I swear to God, if there's somebody that's a fan of the show that plays that number, I will cut your heart out. Yeah. Oh, God. What's, what's going to happen? Flash forward one day, and we're all splitting the money with Hank Ruder. <laughs> <laughs> <It's funny>. And Tab. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Tab! <laughs> Chuck Moody, that is not your number. <laughs> that is not fair. Adam Chirac, I do not know why you played that number. Would you? you know Miami what? Witness News is at the home of Trip Affleck. <laughs> I'm you know, sorry, Atlanta. Another, another thing I thought about, and I just, I'm just i sorry to bring it up earlier, is you have a choice to be an anonymous winner. 
Yes. Would you do that? No. Hell no. This is the best way to promote the podcast ever. That's yeah. true. Yeah, it's I true. think we'd have no choice. Yeah. Uh, we'd Big have Michael Maris show T-shirt on. We, we'd have to promote it. We'd have Big, to promote yeah, it. Because yeah. we've, oh. we've talked about You'd it. Want yeah. to. And, and I right. think that's another reason why I wouldn't be uh, embarrassed by winning. Oh, if yeah. If we run, if we won as a pool. Just the crew? That would be very cool. And how yeah. great would it be you have that big cardboard check, and I know how things happen. You would say, Mark, can I wait and deposit this tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to point out that even if we win, we still will require maximum payments from our advertisers. Of course. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank well, you. Perhaps I'm not giving it away. Right. Different rate? There may be someone that we would have to write a rather significant check to. Though. Maybe. Oh, right. I think, think so. Like right after we won. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think we all know who she is. Yes. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. On the uh, on the program today, I, I, I am going Finally, to Finally, we're teasing ahead? We're, we're going ahead. Okay. Oscar's health. I wanted to get an update on your Thank tummy. You. Uh, you went away. You have not had alcohol. It has not touched your lips. You no. went to Arizona yeah. to uh, Shannon's family yes. for the fabulous holiday. Uh, are you still calling her uh, Blanche? Uh, no. Oscar's right. world. She asked me that, that. She said that hurt her feelings. I don't blame her. Yeah. Really. Shannon uh, is a very cool. lovely And I woman. said, you should stop listening. Because well, it's just a bit. I, you know? I know it's just a bit. <laughs> I would like to say, I am certainly glad that that bit is over. I got tired of hearing Blanche. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes to hear that name. It is indicative of an older woman. That's correct. Why use the name Blanche when you can use a beautiful name like Shannon? Shannon is a great name. I don't know which is better, that name or a delicious candy. Well, it depends, Mike, on which candy to which you are referring. How's about a lifesaver? But what flavor? Peppermint. Winter green. And, and traditional, traditional five flavor. Shannon in the morning. Blanche. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So um, how are you feeling? I, I think I've got like a good month ahead of me, including this week. Um, if I'm lucky, I can get back to normal. Uh, really? I, I'm going to gonna get scoped in. I'm going to get scoped in. In like ten days, the scope is really, really uncomfortable. I've yeah, I have actually, I've had it. I've had it when I had it one four years ago. When is I this had a camera like down into your tummy? Oh yeah, yeah it goes all the way. Up. And throat. I remember I got it. Not, I didn't have the throat. I just had the <laughs> entry in back. And uh, mm. oh. Uh, oh. when I got it, it was a, it was like a Valium and a sodium pentothal. Did they put it in your Duke. Yes. Is that where they well, go in? Well, for you, mine's but, going through the throat. Yeah. See, oh, okay. See, yeah. stomach, the closer root to the stomach's through the mouth. Well, yeah. see, mine was, was lower. And Actually, Rob, they were also doing a stomach scan. <laughs> he just had a more fun physician. That's right. Oh. And the weird thing is, is he insisted on using a Polaroid. <laughs> Because he wanted instant results. He said, you were in a lot of discomfort. Hello, Mr. Spiewak. <laughs> Normally, the procedure is to go through the throat. However, today we will be going through the rectum. Oh. He said, you were in severe uh, discomfort mm. when I made the turn. And I said, no. well, you've the got turn? You, your problem is not ulcer. Yours lower. You, your well, other reason. Yeah. yeah, it is yeah. an ulcer, but it's it's in the bad place. Right. So have you had no. Has anybody else had the, the thing where they go through the, no. the throat? No. I had no. it four years ago. They knock, knock you completely out. Okay, so you've had tummy troubles before. I've had esophage, uh, esophagitis or whatever. Esophagitis. Okay, all right. got to manifest itself it. in the voice so box. So you, do, you yeah. deal with a lot of heartburn then, right? Yes, and it's, a, it's a hereditary. My father has it as well. Mm. So they're going to um, go down and they're going to check out your ulcer. Yes. And uh, then they're going to give you medicine. Or Either they're going to they're going to say that I need surgery or I need uh, hopefully something. Hopefully by then it'll be. Have, are you, surgery is little, very is drastic there, in that case. Is there any yeah. medicine now? Are you taking? Yeah, yeah, I've got uh, okay, five go. different things I'm taking that are prescription based. Right. Okay. Um, it's it look it's uncomfortable. I think that this is something that uh, had to happen eventually. I look I've been I've been living my life at 100 miles an hour for the past four years. Mm -hmm. And between the five hour energies, uh, the multiple sodas, poison, poison, the drinking, poison. Yeah, and, the, uh, and you don't you want to see forty four, so I mean yeah. you want to just chill so out. um so I gotta I gotta pump the brakes. That's your symptoms to... your symptoms now does that uh, does it alter or change your evacuation? Do you see it? When... Oh God, I'm curious. That's Mark's Jesus, question. Rob, God, no, I'm curious. I don't want to hear about his you evacuation. Want to be Mark's if I'm gonna be completely honest, I was disgusting. I was so. And by sick. the way, that Jeez. question is entertaining. I, yeah. was, I was so sick that. <laughs> Yes. You know what? I, I, I have no filter. No, I'm, just, I'm, just, Literally. I'm an idiot. I crap my pants. <laughs> oh. I told you Mark, oh, told you Mark would be interested. A great question. I will now all. be accepting apologies for mocking my question. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> 
crap twice your pants. last. Now, year. when you're talking about crapping your pants, was it just like a little bit, or like a slip, or was it full fledged? I don't know. Oh, we've gone to our expert. Now. Incidentally, <laughs> I, I'm not sure KCJJ can air this. They're so, fine. Uh, we have to be careful They're about fine. that. Okay, so, so yeah. the first time I was can't take away a license <laughs> that they don't know where it is. Mike. <laughs> 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 Gotta find it first. I knew I had a real big problem because the night that uh, we were in New York City, I just couldn't sleep because my stomach hurt so much. Like oh, I was in nice. real pain, and. On the way home, everything was fine. Monday morning is usually when I go and do Pilates. So I get dressed to go do Pilates. I'm dr- I'm driving out of D.C. And I feel like I... Ha- <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about this. I feel like I have a little gas. So I'm like, oh, no big deal. Oh. And, yeah, and then boom! I'm like, well, that's not good. So then, <clears throat> if anybody's ever driven a uh, stick shift before, uh-huh. yes. you got a lot of leg movement, right? Yeah. That's, oh, yes. Yeah. Operating the clutch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this I'm, is the sound that night of Oscar moving his legs. This is in the morning. This is before I came here. Right. So, oh, mind dear. you. So, uh, oh. at that point, I'm like, i got to double back because i got a situation. But driving a clutch when you are... You have a problem. Yeah, you have you're a situation. Shifting your leg. You mm. you basically driving like you're driving a low rider, but you're hovering your butt above the seat. Yeah, right. <laughs> it is, it, yeah, so you try you because you don't want to ruin the suede seats. Right. You know what I mean? That's a, this <laughs> that'd be a problem. Uh, <laughs> so that was one. And then I was like, well, look, clearly, <laughs> who hasn't uh, done that in right. the past? I've done it at the radio station at the old WJFK oh, really? with plaid boxer shorts that I had to leave in the uh, in yeah. the trash. That's right. But afterwards, they looked more like they were made so, of leather. I think the rule is you throw away all that gear. So I throw away the gym shorts and my underwear. I throw so in the trash. Sad. It's so over. horrible. Yeah. And then I thought it was getting better around Wednesday, and I was like, oh, no big deal. And then it happened again oh, boy. as uh-huh. I'm walking down the stairs uh-huh. to oh, my car. See, I almost feel like it's you're my the son med- when I'm you're saying this. Poor boy. Yeah, probably the and medicine then, is doing No, I hadn't taken any medicine really? Oh, really? And then uh, that's, that's when... That's a bad medicine. Yeah, well, that's when I that. went to the doctor. Well. I haven't had that problem since. The only problem I do have is that the color of Duh. my stools... Oh. Uh, is jet black, so it's blood. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It sucks. So you can't wait to get that. When are you getting the procedure done? In uh, after our December seventh show. Oh, okay, so and you will be after. very mellow for the December seventh. Is there anything uh, particularly that uh, we need to get you for that particular? No, 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 no. I just I can't. I just can't drink. That's it. I think the main well, thing. Let's get him a little weed. 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 I the main know. thing he would need is like a towel to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you want a scotch guard. Okay. Uh, well, I'm glad we got that in there. And I'm I glad hope we got that out. Me I too. Hope anybody wants to give you uh, <laughs> advice, do that. Uh, Feel I, free. Tomorrow on the show, I will discuss uh, what they've done to my Honeycrisp. It is not good. Mm, uh, yeah, plans yeah, right. for our December 7th party that Oscar just referenced. Mm-hmm. Uh, my new health fear. And uh, yeah. maybe we'll talk about Susan Rice and uh, how I think she's terrible as a possible secretary. I don't, I don't like her either. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. You, you know, you get, you know, to make a long story short, you got to be a diplomat to be a diplomat. Amen. If you can't work with the Republicans, you're not going to be able to work with the uh, you know the Middle East. Uh, we'll take a break. Come back with Buzz. I'm sorry, with Rob and the Audio Vault right after this. I'm still here, hey, Logie. We'll be right back. Welcome back to MikeOmerishShow.com. Time for Rob's Magic Audio Vault, uh, which is brought to you by TLC Laser Eye Center. Mm, yeah. Now, uh, if you want to ditch your glasses, um, I cannot think of a better group of people to help you do that than the good mm-hmm. folks over at TLC Laser Eye Center. Their surgeons have an international reputation performing LASIK on over 2.2 million eyes. Uh, I've never been in a medical facility that I was more impressed with, mm-hmm. with the state-of-the-art art equipment, with the type of people that I dealt with. It just was uh, a very pleasant experience. I was somebody that uh, went in there completely open-minded, and uh, I knew that I was kind of on the borderline as, as far as whether I was going to be a candidate. candidate. Might yeah. not be. And mm-hmm. just the way they handled that, because you do, uh, when you go in for any kind of uh, elective medical procedure, mm-hmm. you walk in there almost with a feeling like, I, I sure hope I am. I don't want to let them down. Right. That's just the natural yeah, well, mindset sure. natural you get. Thing you feel. They, made it, they made it just sound so completely cool. You know, they said, you know, it's really up to you. We could do this for you. But, uh, you know, I think that uh, you're like, uh, the doctor even compared uh, my eyes to his eyes and said, you know, are you the best candidate? No, you're not the best candidate. And uh, you, we could do a few things for you, but uh, ultimately the decision is yours. Uh-huh. And ultimately I made my decision not to do it. What I was impressed with, with TLC and Dr. Holtzman and all the people over there, was just how competent and professional and thorough they were 
looking at my eyes and telling me what right. the status of uh, my vision was. And our listeners need to know it doesn't cost anything to find out if you're a candidate. If right. you'd like to see what you've been missing, call 877-TLC-2020 to schedule a free consultation or visit TLCvision.com. And be sure to tell the friendly staff you heard about TLC from us. TLC Laser Eye Center. Really, uh, I, I've rarely been more impressed by uh, an operation that I went into. Uh, just terrific people. So go check Dr. them out. Olson's that number again is 877 tlc TLC 2020, or go to TLCVision.com. Rob, we open it up. What do we have for today, uh, November 28th, which is a Wednesday? Uh, first off, thanks to uh, noted P1, Eric Quick, who uh, really lived up to his last name on the turnaround on this. What's his name? Eric Quick. <laughs> Very fast. <laughs> and uh, he isolated a moment from yesterday's show and produced something that I think anyway. you will like particularly. Hmm. Okay, so, very good. Thank you, Eric, for this. I'm bringing a hammer and a nail with me tomorrow. Just for I have a hammer and a nail. It's I right know, and there. I asked for it, and you, you yelled gonna, at me and I'm, I'm bit gonna, my head off. I'm I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna right. fix it. You wanna do? You wanna do me a favor? Uh, You're not gonna use this. How about some net? How about some, how about some net help. lights? Yeah, Take you him. offered to help, not because you wanted to help me. You offered to help because you. It helps you. Yeah. It helps you. Like it it's a task that you should have done no, that you didn't your, do, and I was going to do it. It your <laughs> obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah, and, and good luck going to the hardware store to get your candle. I hope they don't have it. It's the most <laughs> wonderful time. Nicely done. I like it when that's uh, sort of shoehorned in there. Where we so sometimes great. we do that on our own. Good yes, we do. Eric. Do love it. So thank you, Eric, for that. Now, Mike, <laughs> top showbiz story today. Angus T. Jones has apologized, but not really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is a conflicted young man. Yes. Uh, I say conflicted, but he feels very strongly about his religious Did, beliefs. Didn't, didn't he say that two and a half men is not entertaining? I don't think that's exactly <laughs> the word he used. That's how it starts. He said it was Phil. Said, don't watch. It was part of Satan's plan. Uh, he actually released a written statement. Here is NBC News covering the written statement. And he, again, listen to this. He's not really saying he's sorry no, what he no. said. Late Tuesday, Angus T. Jones released a different statement. I apologize if my remarks reflect me showing indifference to and disrespect of my colleagues and a lack of appreciation of the extraordinary opportunity of which I've been blessed. Jones, who has literally grown up on... Blah, 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 blah. So yeah. really, it's... That it's, wasn't written by him. No, no you're right. His, his statement did go on to say, though, that, that Chuck Lorre, had, the producer that we discussed yesterday on the show, had been had been great and very supportive. So I thought that was mm. nice. I mm. did like the fact that uh, Rain, Rain Wilson, yeah. who plays Dwight on The Office, which is a show that used to be funny... What did he say? He actually filmed something that looked just like the video. <laughs> and even to the point where they had the, uh, the African-American gentleman that used to work in the stockroom sitting next to him saying nothing, just like an Angus is video. Here's Rain Wilson. Dwight from The Office is nothing, okay? <laughs> the Office is nothing, all right? If you watch The Office, please don't watch The Office. I'm on The Office. It's filth, okay? And that filth will rot your brain, right? I mean, <laughs> take it from me, who's on The Office. Please don't watch it. Do not watch this final season. Or that filth will rot your brain. Seriously. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> oh, they call it entertainment. Okay. Yeah, right. Do some research on the effects of TV on the brain, and you'll see that the office this okay. Thursday night. I get it. But it's, it's, it's funny that he did it. And, it, and, it. and it absolutely had the look of something he did, yeah. Yeah. which I think is great. Um, Mike, who's your favorite Jennifer who spells her name Jennifer? Flowers? Yes, and yes. she's back in the news. Jennifer. Because she's. Is there said, anybody in the world named Jennifer? Not that I know. No, that's the only one. Jennifer Flowers spelt it Jennifer. Okay. She does yeah, spell it with that. a G. Back in the day, I wouldn't care if she spelled it with a Z. I'm <laughs> glad you bring up that young man, uh, Bill Clinton. Yes. Because in an interview, Jennifer Flowers says that he has hit on her as recently as 2005. <laughs> <laughs> I talked with him actually after I uh, got a divorce and I moved into oh. my home in Old Metairie. It was after Katrina. And uh, I was at home by myself, and the phone rang. It, it said unavailable. Mm -hmm. And I picked up the Hi. phone, and it was him. <laughs> and he wanted to come by my house. He's available. And talk to me. So yeah. what did you say? No, you can't come over? I said, no, you can't come over here. I, I, no way. Well, I said, you can't come to my house. And he said, oh, yeah. He said, I'll, uh, he said, I'll put on a hoodie, and I'll, oh. I'll, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll jog up past. there. Well, oh. he, he used to yeah, do that. I, know. I said, no, no, and I want you to leave me alone. And that was and it. And that was it. Uh -huh. That would have been 2005. <laughs> uh, she also went on to take credit for his election because she put him on the map. Okay, do you believe that she's telling the truth? No. I do. No. It's kind of tough when you've got an unavailable yeah. call. I believe it. You do? I do. I don't know. I think if he's, I'll put on a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> I am so in the middle. I'm so yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Hard, it's hard to say. Well, I must say that the presidency. I, I perhaps have some 
more insider no? knowledge than most people about the uh, former wow. president. Uh, wow. Based on my uh, membership at uh, Robert Turner oh, Jones right. Country yeah. Club. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to be with Rob on this one. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I think he's a horn doggy of, of huge proportions. Yeah. Really? I, I, yeah, absolutely. It's his one Achilles heel. His it, yeah. Or it's yeah. his, his Achilles penis. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Right. Now, you played classic rock for uh, all, like a year at the edge, right? Yeah, it's uh, what, delightful. Where do, you, where do you come in on Hendrix? Um, you know, I, I think he's fine. I'm not a turbo fan myself. I agree. I think he. Uh, I would have liked to see him live longer to grow as a musician and yeah. do different things. Maybe Maybe um, this March, they're coming out with what was to be his follow-up to the album Electric Ladyland, which like his guitar say, work much more than his vocal presentation. Because, agree. Row, 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 I row. agree. That's Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah. We, we must be somewhere out of here. Electric oh, Ladyland was that's, arguably his best album, and he was working on a follow-up when he died. The album was Purple called Haze. People <laughs> Hell, affected, yeah. right. People, Hell, and Angels, and they leaked a little bit of this unfinished cut. They're finishing it up his tracks and releasing a Hendrix album in March. Here's how it sounds, and I think it's kind of neat because even though they have done some work to complete it, it sounds like authentic Hendrix. So. Well, uh, I see fingers. <laughs> but you called it him. Yeah. <laughs> But if you're a Hendrix aficionado, you have that to look forward to it much. I'm surprised they didn't do a Christmas release. Mm -hmm. Which takes us, Mike, to Black Friday. <laughs> well, I just wanted you to know. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I'm just i realizing as I listen to it, probably yeah. not a huge Hendrix yeah. fan. Do you remember the two guys that make lists of things that don't exist, then swap the lists and make them go to the store yes. and film them asking for them? <laughs> yes. Do you remember these guys? Hysterical. They did it again for Black Friday. Here is uh, I have yeah. the full video up at our uh, YouTube page, but here's a highlight. These are some nonsense. of the items. And remember, when they're asking for the items, they have not pre-read the list. That's what makes it so funny. So funny. Ham sander? That's like if your ham gets kind of crusty for Thanksgiving and you just kind of like <laughs> shave it off. Ham you have Facebook sander. on tape or just the CDs? <laughs> no. You know? Okay, because I like to listen to it in the car. Mr. Red Pants? Mr. Red Pants? Yeah. Uh, or... Action toy? Smart Chunks? Smart Chunks? What's that? Is that like a it's, cereal? Yeah, it's a cereal for, for people who are dumb <laughs> and fat. So they need, smart chunks? They need to get smarter. Smart Tim chunks. Doodley's Happy Snacks. Uh, scuba Cape? It's Cuba Cape? Yeah. It's mostly. Uh, um, when you're scuba diving, but you like to dress up as a superhero. <laughs> Betty buy socks for sleepy feetsies. A Wi-Fi fish tank. Lumpy lady lingerie. Uh, a Swiss Army toaster. What about extra loud audiobooks for the hard of hearing? Bird <laughs> shoes. I need some bird shoes. Hypoallergenic coffin pillows. <laughs> stained glass windshield. Do you sell those? Uh, yeah. Because those stained glass windshields are beautiful, aren't they? Nose putty. James Brown sings your Hanukkah favorites. <laughs> it's for the holidays. <laughs> gluten nose. Gluten nose. about glue? No, no, they're uh, cereal with extra gluten. Ah. All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, leather diapers. It's almost done. Leather diapers. Oh, yeah, right. regular diapers. Okay, yeah, now I got a baby with a fetish. Extra large bung buckles. All right, well, thanks anyway. That's that's helpful. That's that's, that's good. <laughs> that is your magic card. Thank you, Rob. That's good stuff. I like that. I'd love to be at the writer's meeting for that. Yeah. that must, uh, those I guys love just... extra loud books on tape. Uh, for, for the, the hard, hard of hearing. hearing. <laughs> Sipping a beer and doing that. We'll take a break. Come back with Buzz and News. Welcome back to MikeOmeraShow.com. Did you see the, uh, it was a Krispy Kreme donut manager? Yes. And he walked into the Krispy Kreme and asked for a the donuts. Uh, he was doing a rejection. It was an Asian guy doing a rejection experiment to see how many different ways he could get rejected with unusual out. requests. Mm. Walks into a Krispy Kreme, sees this wonderful young lady who's a manager who could not have been a kinder, sweeter person. And he asks for... In the Krispy Kreme donuts, he wants the Olympic rings, mm -hmm. multicolored, okay. joined colors, together. Yes. And she does it for him. Oh, really? Oh, wow. And and she breaks the the donuts in half and kind of puts the whole Olympic thing symbol happen. with the different colors and doesn't charge him for it. Wow. And he gets the whole Whoa. thing on hidden camera. And she was an angel. Isn't that and great? she is the type of person that we all should have have the pleasure of dealing with. Yeah. In our lives. That's not the Krispy Kreme ladies at Richmond when I used to go there drunk. <laughs> <laughs> they were not helpful. You were drunk. Yeah, yeah, you got thrown out when you sang "Pump Up the Jam." Well, she was <laughs> pumping up the jam. She <laughs> was making jelly donuts. God. Oh Let's, my God. Uh, get Get our news here with Buzz Burbank. Take it Pop away, Buzz. Up the jam. We're brought to you. That's <laughs> Brought to you today by Smart Smoke, the premium e-cigarette. Smart Smoke has the nicotine you crave, but without the tar odor, secondhand smoke, or carcinogens. And with same-day shipping and a money-back guarantee, Smart Smoke is the smarter alternative to tobacco. 
because it costs 80% less than yeah, traditional baby. tobacco products. If you love cigars like Mike, try the Belvedere, which lasts as long as six double Coronas. And you can talk like Mr. Belvedere when you smoke it. <laughs> That's right. And to see all the styles, flavors, Hewitt. and mm-hmm. strengths, and order your refills, just click the Smart Smoke ad on our website. Well, you're not going to win the half-billion-dollar Powerball lottery no, drawing already, tonight. Why because are you we saying are. So? I had written this long before we ever... He was the most miserable after we bought the tickets, but, I... he is, but he's a team player. Mm-hmm. And he dove in as much as he hated it more That's than right. anybody in this room. I saw him that miserable once before when we tried to teach him blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> he hated that, too. He hated That's, that. That is also true. Right. You're, you're, you see, gambling implies a chance of winning, mm-hmm. which is why I don't do it. That's right. It, you're not going to win the money. You're not going to win the lottery. Besides, the real winner is the state's lotteries, which took in $61 billion in the past year. Wow. <laughs> so uh, they're gonna, they might have to give up a half billion of that. I hope we will. Uh, Just what, to look at your face. What yeah. you can do is better your lot in life by asking for a raise. And a new study says 5 p.m. Not here, not here but right. most companies, hey, for my, example. Just to better my lot in life, I was wondering. No. <laughs> not, not here, Rob. We're talking to the listeners. That's, who, who have that's actual a negative. Jobs. Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. A new study says 5 p.m. is the best time to ask for a raise because that's when the boss is least rushed or distracted. Hmm. Now you know. Another new study says it would help our economy uh, and your company if the boss did give you a raise. A liberal think tank says it found that when companies give people raises, the companies get more than their money back through more productivity and better quality work. And the study says that if a lot of companies did this, it would stimulate the economy enough to create 100,000 new jobs and add $15 billion to our gross domestic product. I, I think that uh, coming from the radio biz, we are, uh, you know, we worked in a corporate environment where it was always uh, the last thing in the world they ever wanted to do. Right. And it's a true example of if you did get that raise, and I'm not talking about just the radio personalities. I'm talking about anybody of the right. support staff. First of all, they never got one. Right. But anybody that ever would, I would think that they'd go out of their minds, and they'd want to you know, reward the company Fires for finally doing something. Made their lives right. better. So it seems true. Yeah, does anyone, I don't remember even being in a work environment where... It, it, while I was in radio, terrestrial radio, that someone came, and if it wasn't a new contract, that you'd be like, hey, you did a great job. Yeah, you know? it didn't happen. No. It didn't the happen. Truth. You, guys, and you guys used to struggle for, what, 10%, right? The true, you have to wait two years or oh, something yeah, like that? Oh, yeah, and it was usually five. The yeah, true golden era, when we were actually doing well at WJFK, one Christmas we got hoodies, mm-hmm. and one Christmas we got a blanket. Yeah, yeah I still a have CBS a, blanket. Still have yeah. a blanket. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now Republicans are saying, yeah, you know, for what it's worth. You can have yeah. Republicans. Yeah. Republicans are joining the president back out on the campaign trail, trying to drum up support to pressure the other side into bending in ways that will help us avoid the fiscal cliff. At first, Republicans criticized the president for taking his case to small businesses and middle class taxpayers, but less than a half hour after Mitch McConnell laid into the president for doing that yesterday, John Boehner announced a PR roadshow for Republican lawmakers as well. What did I say yesterday? Today, you, folks. you did, and this, it, this illustrates everything you were talking about. Yesterday. Even with a migraine, you did it. Oh, it's a hundred percent. Oh, but yeah. wait, there's more. There's the filibuster fight. You see, have you heard about this? No, I haven't. Uncle, uh, under uncle, under Senate rules, lawmakers on one side can hold up a vote mm-hmm. with a talkathon. It's a way for the minority party, in this case, in the Senate, the Republicans, to make their point. The rest of the lawmakers can make them stop talking, but. The way the rules are currently written, it takes a supermajority of 60 votes to stop a filibuster instead of a simple majority of 51 votes the way it used to be. The Democrats who now control the Senate want to change that part of the rule, make it 51 votes again, because they say the Republicans have abused their filibuster privileges by doing it too often. This has Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell spitting nails, quoting him, this is exactly the wrong way to start a new year. And they're off. Mm -hmm. Uh, And while the fight continues over whether to tax the rich and close some loopholes to bring in more money, lawmakers have barely scratched the surface of what budget cuts need to be made. We're hearing now that even Democrats are divided over what to cut, and the decisions won't be easy for either party. Nothing has improved. Nothing has has happened. Naked protesters showed up outside John Boehner's office yesterday to protest probable cuts in AIDS research. Three women and apparently several men removed their clothing to reveal messages scrawled on their bodies, and they chanted. And he cried. If you want to see this on YouTube, go fast, because there's penises and boobs. Ew! So it will be yanked. Before they pull up. Yeah, you'll pardon the expression. Fox News interviews normally run longer than a minute, but... <laughs> right, get them out of the, cut it out? Get them out of the room, Rob. Someone usher. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Where are the ushers? <laughs> Sloppy board work. Uh, Fox News <laughs> interviews. <laughs> Fox News interviews normally run longer than one minute, but that wasn't the case when author Thomas Ricks was on the other day after he, on the air, referred to Fox as, and I quote, a wing of the Republican Party. Right. He was talking about the network's relentless flogging of the Benghazi story in this case, and he was off the air. I saw it. Fox News later announced that Ricks has apologized for his comment. He says that's not true. Either. Oh, they are terrible. <laughs> In other they news. They are just so wow. psycho sometimes. He's apologized. No, I haven't. <laughs> so we completely made it up. Yeah. They completely fabricate. The, it's amazing what how they fits. do this. Yeah. I mean, and it's always some, like, junior-level guy. I, I My prediction is <laughs> somebody's going to get really in big trouble because there will be an old veteran journalist working for Fox. There are plenty of them. Right. I, I, Britt yeah. Hume is a guy I have a lot of respect yep, for. Right. He's uh, got a point of view, but I respect the right. guy. And, I, and the guys like that don't suffer that crap. Mm. But you've got the junior guys that come in, and it's like, uh, well, uh, why don't we uh, float a story that he apologized? You know, and then and then it goes up, and because they're all such sycophants at right. that place, oh, it gets right through. And then I think there's usually a little blowback where he never really did apologize. Yes, right. you did. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. We'll fire that guy. Probably never hear about <laughs> yeah. it. Other news: a female Purple Heart recipient and the ACLU have gone to court to try to make the Pentagon let women serve in combat. Cyber Monday could have set even more records if it hadn't been so tough to order stuff through smartphones. Mobile retail sites were taking, and this is almost laughable, taking 18 seconds to load on Monday, darn it. <laughs> uh, here's the thing, that's double the time it normally takes, and studies have shown that people tend to give up when a site takes three seconds longer than normal yeah, to load. Yeah, welcome to the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the way it goes. A new study in Trenton, New Jersey, shows that a red light red light camera's there. I love the red light cameras. <laughs> red light cameras in, lying. in Trenton, New Jersey, have increased the number of rear-end collisions at intersections by 20% mm -hmm. and increased property damage numbers by more than $1 million. Governor Christie is going to combat this by eating the red light cameras. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, some holiday buzz kills for you. On Thanksgiving night in Stockton, California, police were investigating an assault in which a woman walking down the street was assaulted with a pumpkin thrown from a moving car. It was a drive-by. Oh, boy. In Pensacola, that can thank, hurt. in Pensacola, thank you, Florida, two young men were arrested for killing a turkey with a bow and arrow. This was not a nod to the history of Thanksgiving. The turkey was a neighbor's pet. Oh. A clown. Oh, Mike, now, for one thing, that's, that's not, not funny. funny. It's not. None of these are funny. None of them are. A clown died in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I saw that. The 67-year-old clown was making balloon animals for the kids along the route when he keeled over from a heart attack. <laughs> and at a Christmas parade it, in Ontario. A little song. <laughs> a little dance. A little seltzer. <laughs> Down the pants. Down your pants. Ontario's Christmas Parade. A drunken man whose hair was spiked into devil horns went around telling kids that Santa isn't real. What? <laughs> Police arrested him on public drunkenness charges. <laughs> but we all know it was the Santa thing. <laughs> I'm Buzz Burbank on the Mike O'Mara Show. Thank you, Buzz. Our show today was brought to you by The Man Great. Yes. Men's Health calls it one of 2012's best grilling accessories. We call it one of the best holiday gifts of the year. And our own buddy, Oscar, he works for him. Please. The Man Great is 100% made in America cast iron, so oh. you get real steakhouse grill marks and seal in the juices for that great steakhouse it, flavor. It works. The Man Great is still, they held the line on their prices this mm -hmm. year still just 19.99 when you order through the banner ad at mikeomarashow.com but wait there is more what you order now you get that grill brush rob told you about give the grilling great that's changing the way america grills you remember give yeah. the man great it's great that's it we'll be back with another one tomorrow have a great day bye bye everybody bye, bye. bye. bye.